Okay. Now, um, this is a response video on how to uh, remove the white background from these two heart layers, or just from the heart layers themselves. So there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this, and the easiest or simplest way that I found, since this is a black and white image, which means there's black pixels, a heart shape filled with the black pixels. So I select this layer here. This is the heart copy of this heart layer here. And then I go to Layer, Transparency, Color, to alpha, and you see the little pop, the drop down menu says uh, convert a specified color to transparency. Works best with white, so that's what we're going to do. So we click that, this dialog will open. Now it has removed the white in the preview, but you can't see it. But if I remove the eye from the layer below it, you will see that it's showing us what that image will look like once the transparency is removed. So I'm going to, it's set for white. You can set it to whatever color you like. You can set it to black. As you can see, it will show the color that is below it, which is this green color, but we want to select white. So we bring the color back to all the way, drag it all the way up to the white, which is F, 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 and click OK. Now the color is removed. So we can do the same for this layer here. So we'll just go um, filter, repeat color to alpha, and there we have the color white removed from both layers. Now, in order to move this around right now, the layer is the same size as the entire image, which is 1920 by 1080. Now, if we move this, you'll notice, make sure you have move active, uh, select layer, and select move active layer. Now, if we move this, you'll notice you see the outline follows because the layer is still the same size. Now I'm going to um, go view, snap the canvas edge. So when I move it back, it will snap to the canvas edge and be perfectly centered. But what you want to do is crop the image to its size, crop the heart to its size. So we go layer and we go crop to content. Press crop to content. Now this layer is cropped to content. Now if we move it, you'll see that it, you'll see the outline has changed because I cropped it to the content. Now in order to move it directly on center, you can go uh, image, uh, I mean view, no, image guides, by percentage, 50% vertical, adds one, and then we do this again. Image guides by percentage vertical, now we switch to horizontal, 50%, and then we click on the layer and we go to the move tool. Click on the, see the little crosshair in the center of the image? This will bring this to center and it snaps into place on center. It'll snap right on that crosshair into center. Now we're back on center. You can also move it back to center by clicking on the Arrange and Alignment tool. Once you click on the Arrange and Alignment tool, click on the uh, layer you wish to center. Click Align Target to center. Now click align middle of target and that brings it right to the bottom. Now we can also uh, crop this to content by going layer, 
crop to content. So we now have both layers crop to content. Now if we select the chain for both layers and we move the top layer, the bottom layer will move with it. Now I want to deselect the chain and move the layer below it. So we click on the layer below the original heart layer click on that to move and just use the arrow keys to move it to the uh, right. Now if you click, click shift and hit the arrow keys it will move five pixels. Now I want to move this one over slightly. Now in order to to rotate this is simple. You can use the layer tool, which is would be transform, and you can rotate it 90 degrees. Do the same for that layer. Um, layer, transform, rotate 90 degrees clockwise, and then you can move these layers as as you want. To get them to align in this direction. If you put out a crosshair, it will snap to that crosshair. Same with this layer. It snaps, see how the, the cursor snaps to the line, to the guide, and, and the edge of the canvas for the layer snaps to the, to the guide. So now you have it like this. And you can merge this down, merge down. And so now you have both like that. I hope, I hope this explains it a little easier. There's, there's also another way. Undo merge. I'm undoing, undoing everything. everything. I'll, I'll go, go to the undo, undo, layer, undo layer history. Uh, undo, undo history, history and just, just bring our layers, layers back to the, the way they were. were. Now there's another way of doing it, and I'm going to flatten, I'm going to add another layer, new layer, fill it with white, merge this down, merge this, uh, merge down. Now we have this layer here that has a white background. You can also use the uh, color to select tool, color, select by color, you can select all the white. And if you hold the, the uh, mouse button and drag, you'll see the threshold over to the far on, in the tool options get larger. That means it is shrinking the selection to the alpha channel to encompass more of the selection. So there we go. Now we can select Edit, Clear. And it also removed. Now, if you zoom in, you may see some white still left over. Let's see if that has occurred. Select none. Seems like it made a pretty good selection. Now, can you edit, select none, edit, undo, clear, select none. You see how there's some gray here? Now, if we just went with the uh, color select tool and clicked without dragging, and then that edit clear, that's what you'll get. You'll see, you see that? You'll see the white. Select none. Now there's also another way to clear the layer. Select none. Okay. You can use the magic wand or fuzzy select tool, which it's called, and click on that. And you can also click and drag this as well, and you'll see the threshold meter or slider start to uh, get larger, which means it's selecting as much of the white that it can. Now it's up to 155 on the threshold level in the tool options menu. And we let that go, and then we go edit, clear. 
select none. Now, now if we zoom in, in we'll see, see how good of a job. It didn't do as good a job as the uh, color select, because you can still see there are some fuzziness. There is some color left behind, like gray color. So let me zoom in a little even further. 1600. You can see that there's still some gray there. Which if we click on that, you can select that. But this would, would take all day. Go to Add to Selection. This would take all day to get rid of those. So select None. So the, the simplest way, New Layer. Add white, layer, merge down. Let's change this, uh, get rid of this. I'm going to delete this, start over again. New layer, new layer, okay. Now we go and we add white to that. Click on this layer and merge down. Merge down, now we have our heart layer here. Now, I found, found the best way is just to do the layer. layer. Uh, go layer, transparency, color to alpha, and, and let it select the white and go OK. Now, if you zoom in, you'll see the gray is left, but it's mostly white. Now, we can go and put black behind that. Color black. Pull that over, and, and you'll, you'll notice, notice that, that there's, there's no, you, you don't, don't see any white in this image at all. It's all black. And we go layer, uh, color, invert. And there is the heart. I hope this helps you removing the white from the background. Uh, also, the layer you want to crop this to the content, you go layer. Cropped content, and then you can move it around. Having the crosshairs set to 50% vertical and 50% horizontal gives you a center point. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.